Hello, welcome back to ITN. So, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying, right? Watching this sort of uh, sessions, right? And at the same time, we are learning few things, right? Uh, well, this course was for uh, beginners and uh, sort of a refreshers for the people who are knowing Python, right? All right. So till now, we have covered about a few of the important topics, um, and uh, lastly, we have covered about uh, some of the things about uh, error handling, right? With this one last thing left in the error handling in Python, that is the exceptions or uh, the uh, raise exceptions. So it's an explicit exception in Python, right? So we are going to check on some of the examples um, uh, that will actually uh, make uh, more uh, clear uh, on how we are going to use these uh, exceptions. We are going to start with some a very very uh, basic example, and then we are going to move to the next level with us uh, with the example of comparing two numbers, right? All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the class. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So in this session, uh, we'll see about race exception, right? Okay, great. So what are what is race exception? So race exception is used to explicitly throw an exception, right? So far, we have learned to get an exception to the code when a possible logical error was encountered. We also saw some uh, value error exceptions uh, in the last session, and other exceptions also. I mean, such as try. And finally, right? We remember that, right? We saw some examples on that, right? But is it possible to throw an exception to the program when a certain condition is met? Um, the answer is yes. And in this session, we are going to see that, right? Now, let's write a small program to accept a number. Okay, so x equals to x equals to integer input right and then enter a number right or I would say enter a number less than 100 all right or zero or space zero okay All right now um now let's run this program yeah so i'll key in function f5 and uh, yes it is asking me to save so i'll give it as one two three um just a dummy program so um so enter a number less than 100 right so if i enter 2 so it, it is accepting 2 also right and then if i print x then i get the value as 2 right now if uh, so it is accepting a value which is uh, less than 100 right so it, will it accept a value which is more than 100 so 1 not 2 x yes so the program we have written we had actually mentioned that it is uh, required to uh, provide a value of uh, less than 100 but it was able to accept uh, less than 100 as well as more than 100 so it was able to actually um, it was not actually solving the purpose isn't it so how can we modify this program so that it will uh, it will throw an error when a user keys in uh, a value which is more than 100 right so for that what we'll have to do a small change in the code is if x is greater than 100 right then raise exception okay do note the um, that exception is starting with capital E so uh, as you know uh, Python is case sensitive 
and we have to be sure that we are using the right syntax right or else we will get a syntax error yeah and then in that what we are going to type in is what um, should be the output of the program uh, number enter is greater than 100 okay and then I hit enter yeah and then print x else colon print x all right let's look at the output of this so I'll do uh, save I do function f5 okay sorry uh, there was a syntax error and then I have to do it was a small syntax uh, issue out here yeah now um, if I enter a value more than 100 no 2 it gives exception number entered is okay so there's a small typo out here let me correct that typo entered is greater than 100 right and now uh, let me run the command again I uh, enter 102 it say uh, it g actually prints the line as raise exception number entered is greater than 100 exception number entered is greater than 100 right so we got the output right so now with this we are forcing the user to key in the value which is less than 100 all right so that that's the advantage of uh, uh, using an SN exception right so in this program we explicitly are using raise statement uh, when this condition in the program is not met then it prints the statement all right which you saw in the um, output of the program okay so this is quite useful in the situation when a certain condition which is the customized condition right and there is no reason why python should know about the condition all right so python has provided with some built-in conditions for which we saw in the uh, in the previous sessions uh, such as um, the ones like value error exceptions uh, and then we actually use some codes uh, in the previous sessions which was for try else um, and um, finally exceptions so all those things are there which are built in but uh, for which um, exceptions which is which we have used now is a catch-all exceptions but not a specific built-in exceptions for a particular type of error right so it will catch all the other exceptions which are not built in uh, it's like an explicit ex ex exceptions yeah so we are particularly using raise exceptions with the message to be delivered right okay so let's now uh, go in the more um, uh, detailed program uh, let's use the example which uh, we did in the last session all right so this was the example which we used in the last session isn't it i mean it was to um, compare the two numbers right um, so if we uh, let's try to run this program function f5 um, and input a number i'll input 19 and then i put uh, 23 so it says u is greater yeah right so it, it was able to find out um, that the number uh, the second number was greater right right but in case if we want to make a change and if um, if we say f5 if we run the program again uh, if we input uh, minus 2 and then 2 right the thing is the the code is working fine i mean it was able to compare and it was able to get, get the number the second number that is u uh, first number is l second number is u and it was able to say that u is greater fine but it was accepting minus 2 which we don't want right we want to have only positive numbers the positive ancient integers we don't want to um, accept for the negative integers right so how can we make the changes to the program so that 
it should throw our explicit exceptions whenever a user inputs a negative uh, number provides a negative number right so for that we'll have to make a small change in the uh, in the program right so that um, it whenever a user keys in a negative number it will throw a uh, exception all right so all right so same program i've made some changes in the code uh, in the interest of time i've already made those changes uh, so this this is the same program so until now it was till now it was the same right then if l is less than 0 or u is less than 0 right um, I'll put it as uh, L here so that in the output we can actually um, we will be able to uh, distinguish uh, which one uh, is greater right so if L is less than 0 or u is less than 0 right so that means uh, any number that less than 0 should I mean that is a negative number so in that case you have it, the, the the Python should actually raise an exception uh, note again e is in caps only positive numbers allowed right okay small typo there positive numbers allowed right and then accept value error that was there in the uh, earlier uh, example also and it was uh, printing program will only accept integers and that was in case if the user uh, was keying in a space right and then there is one more except exception at exception as e print error and then colon and slash uh, and then e right now what happens in this program so when a user keys in a null value this part of the code will uh, kick actually and then it will um, say program will only accept integers right but if a user keys in a negative value which is less than zero then this part of the code actually gets executed right where it will throw an error that only positive integers allow right yeah so let's check on this um, the output of this program so i'll do function f5 yes i'll find in saving uh, input number l uh, let's try with the null value and see what the output and then I key in 24 program will only accept integers right because um, this was a null value it will not accept uh, that right right so okay so now let's try to run this program again and this time what we're going to do is we are going to give us minus 2 a negative value negative integer and then u as 23 okay so now as you can see only positive numbers allowed right why we got this output right because we made this as an exception right the condition was if l is less than zero and or u is less than zero any of the two is less than zero then the condition this was the condition under this condition an exception would be raised where it will print that program will only accept a positive integer uh, uh, only positive numbers allowed right only positive numbers allowed right all right great um, so there's one more thing which I wanted to actually show about so this sort of an exception is your explicit exception right so this one is something which you should be using at the end of the uh, all the except uh, parameters right uh, for example um, you have this except parameter with uh, th this is an exception for value error right similarly you will have other exceptions other specific exceptions right but this is your general exception where it is going to catch all it's like a wild card exception so it is going to catch all exceptions right so if you want to catch for a specific uh, exception then that one should be coming first and then the wildcard exception should be coming at the end right in case if you're going to use this at the at the start of it at before before this one um, I'll show you what happens right now 
uh, say for example I do control s and then function f5 okay so if I give uh, minus so if I give us uh, let's go back if I give a space and if I give 23 in the earlier one uh, before we made this change we saw that uh, uh, in even if the space or I mean this was if we enter a negative value then only we were getting this error as only positive numbers allowed right now if we give a space what will be the output are we going to get the same output let's have a look yeah enter so yeah we got a different output right so this is that's the reason when I mean whenever you're using um, the exception uh, then you should be actually making sure that you're using that exception in the end right okay so this is an explicit expression which you want to use it at the end I'll make the changes okay and then I'll control s and then I will um, give me one moment control s and then function f5 right now if I give space and um, 23 program will only accept integers right okay again if I execute this program minus 2 23 only positive numbers around right okay so in this session we saw about uh, there, were, there were two things which we touched based upon one was we saw about how we can um, use the wildcard exception handling um, syntax and um, also the second thing what we saw is about why we should be using the explicit um, exception at the end right because it actually then uh, if you don't do that it actually changes the output of the program right so, all right great so with this we come to the end of this session right and um, we'll see um, some more things uh, in the coming sessions now this is the end for the uh, exception handlings uh, in python in the next session we are going to look about functions uh, okay so just to touch base on what is functions so functions is a group of related statements that perform specific tasks all right so we'll see in detail in the next session about uh, functions right all right so we are good for now uh, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get uh, updates uh, as soon as the new videos are getting uploaded right until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you